everybody, and welcome to the ladies' room. My name is Sunshine, and I'm joined here today with Garza. Hi, everybody. How are you? Are you prepared? Because we are so ready. And Simone de Buffet. Hello. Bonjour, everyone. Welcome to the ladies' room. Okay. And Chipper Woodview, how are you today? Fabulous, as always, my dear. Wonderful. <laughs> so today we're going to talk about pre-exposure prophylaxis. Um, so why don't we start off, first of all, by telling the viewers what exactly that is. Yeah, so pre-exposure prophylaxis, which is often abbreviated to PrEP, uh, is when an HIV negative person is given a drug that's designed to treat HIV uh, in the hopes that they will not become infected. Right, right, and that's not to be confused with mm -hmm. post-exposure prophylaxis, uh, which is um, PEP, right, and it's given to people after exposure um, of HIV. So like I said, there's um, a lot of talk in the community uh, about this topic, and I think one of the most important uh, things that people are talking about is, is it going to increase uh, people's risky behavior if we do roll it out in the community? Mm -hmm. And I know, Simone, you know, you, ha you had a lot of strong feelings about that. I think that, you know, when the results of the the IPREX study was rolled out uh, for pre-exposure prophylaxis. Um, I think that there was this uh, reaction saying, well, okay, are people, you know, if there's a medication that prevents HIV, are people going to still use condoms? Um, are they still going to use safer sex practices? Mm. Uh, what, mm -hmm. what is the research saying about that, Chipper? Yeah, so actually, so in the IPREX study, which is where they use Truvada um, mm -hmm. as PrEP in uh, Men Who Have Sex With Men, um, they actually found, and, and just to caveat, this is in, in the situation where they're giving a lot of risk reduction counseling, mm -hmm. um, they actually found that participants reported that they reduced their risky behavior and they use condoms more often. Right, right. Yeah. Well, we have to um, say it. The LGBT community is a leader in HIV prevention. Absolutely. So they are practicing safe sex. We are trying to engage them in more safer practices. So they are doing a great job, I think. I, I agree, I agree. Um, you know, and another big topic that people are talking about in the community is this notion of drug resistance. Um, and, you know, Simone, maybe you can uh, talk a little bit about what the community is saying about that. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Uh, I think it's a legitimate concern. Uh, you know, let's say you are in a study, you are uh, taking this medication, uh, pre-exposure, and then let's say that you do become HIV positive, well, will there be a drug resistance in your body? I mean, I think, uh, I think that's a legitimate concern. It is a legitimate mm. concern, absolutely. What are the studies saying about that, Chipper? Yeah, so actually, um, <coughs> drug resistance can only occur if an HIV-positive person takes the drug, um, so when they're already positive. Mm -hmm. um, however, uh, it's just really important that in these studies or in the real world, any scenario like this, um, we just need to make sure people are negative if they're going to be taking the drug as okay. PrEP. I want to really congratulate and thank all the volunteers around the world who are making a big difference in order to fight HIV. I want to take a moment to thank them and congratulate them for the big effort and for helping to stop the epidemic. Fantastic. I think that's a great place to end. Thank you so much, viewers, for joining us with um, in the ladies' room today. Garza, is always a pleasure. Thank you for having me. Gracias. Oh, you're so welcome, Simone the Buffet. Lovely as always. Oh, thank you. Merci beaucoup. Merci beaucoup. And Chipper Woodview, thank you so thank much. You. And again, my name is Sunshine, and thank you for joining us in the ladies' room. We'll see you next time.